first step is, is to unplug your computer. Now make sure your computer is turned off when you're poking around in there because you are using a metal object and there's a good chance you will short out your system. The so best thing to do is just turn off your computer and if you've been using it uh, for quite some time before installing the Ygig card in your system, make sure you let your system cool down because components do get hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Step two is installing the PCIe Ygig card into your system. Now, you want to install it into an X1 slot. If you don't know what an X1 slot is, just look at your motherboard manual. And if you don't have that, just Google what motherboard manufacturer you have and what motherboard you have and look up the manual online. Once you've figured out what PCIe slot you're going to use, you're going to want to take off the expansion slot cover um, and unscrew that off. Make sure you keep the screw because you're going to need that to secure the YGIG card in place. Now that you put the YGIG card into your system, you're going to go ahead and close up the computer and reconnect everything. Now that our computer is all closed up, it's time to connect the wireless link box to the PCIe card. Using this cable attached to the wireless link box, screw it into the back of the PCIe card. After that, screw the provided clip to the base of the link box and attach it to your monitor or anywhere that will be visible to your Vive headset. Now that we've finished installing everything into our computer, it's time to attach the wireless adapter to the Vive. Depending on what Vive you are using, the setup process will be different. In this video, we are using the Vive without the audio strap. The first step in attaching the wireless adapter is to open the cover on top of the Vive and carefully remove the 3-in-1 cable. Once you've unplugged the cables, slide them out from under the loops and store them. Since these are the main cables you'll need if you need to remove the wireless adapter and go back to using wired. The next step is to attach the wireless adapter to the strap at the top of your headset. There's a cradle attached at the base of the wireless adapter. Unfasten the horizontal velcro strap and you'll see a clip on the cradle. To attach the wireless adapter to your headset, insert the cradle's clip into the sleeve that shows the Vive logo on the head strap. Use both the vertical and horizontal velcro strap to secure the wireless adapter in place. Wrap both straps around the headset strap and fasten them. After attaching the wireless adapter to the top of the head strap, it's time to insert the 3-in-1 short cables. After you've inserted the 3-in-1 short cables, close the headset compartment. Align the ridges on the cover with the tabs on the compartment. When aligned, push the cover until it snaps in place. Now it's time to connect the wireless adapter to the power bank. Use the long USB cable provided in the box to connect the wireless adapter to the power bank. After you've finished attaching the wireless adapter and inserting the PCIe card into your computer, you'll go ahead and head over to the website I previously mentioned in the video. I will of course leave a link to the page in the description below. Once you've headed over to the website, scroll down to step 3 of the setup guide. There, you will be able to download the Vive wireless app. Once downloaded, follow the on-screen cues and wait for it to pair. Once it's finished pairing and updating, you are all set to enjoy a whole new wireless VR experience. That's it for this video. 
Thank you all so much for watching our how-to guide on setting up the Vive wireless adapter. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to see more videos like this. Once again, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.